So yeah, so I have a date here later and hopefully it goes better than this interaction with this cat. Are you ready to meet the world's most interesting animal entrepreneurs? I only wanted to do what I love. My name is Dariani Santana. <gasps> and this is Wags to Riches. I'm at Crumbs and Whiskers and I'm going to meet with founder and owner, Conchit Singh. This cat cafe is perfect to socialize, do some work, and it might be great for a first date. I'm Kanchan, I'm the founder and CEO of Crumbs and Whiskers, which is the first cat cafe in LA and DC. We rescue cats and kittens from risk of euthanasia and shelter, and we're a place for people to drink coffee, cuddle with cats, and adopt cats. This place is amazing, look at the kittens. Thank you. What we do is we partner with rescues who get our cats, we partner with a coffee shop down the block that brings our coffee, so like it's definitely a team effort. The people who come in to drink coffee and play with cats, if they fall in love with the cat, they can adopt them and take them home. And then as far as our own business model, we work on like a time system. So you can come in for like 15 minutes, 30 minutes or 70 minutes where they really get to like learn the cat's personalities and get like a feel what our cats are like. I actually have a first date here in a little bit. That's really exciting. We get a lot of first dates here, and I've heard that it's a really good place to vet people because you can tell a lot about a guy by the way he treats cats. How did you decide to launch this business? I went to Thailand and I came across a cat cafe. At the time, I had really wanted to start a business that helped animals, and I really didn't know like what that business would be or what would it look like. And when I walked into that cat cafe in Thailand, it was like the answer to the question I'd been asking. On the plane ride back to the US, literally mapped out like the whole business plan on like United Napkins. How old were you when you opened your first cat cafe? It was my 24th birthday that I was at the Thailand cat cafe and got to celebrate my 25th birthday in my own cat cafe. So how do you make sure these cats get along? Are there like a lot of cat fights? When the cats are first brought in, they're not used to, you know, being around 25 other cats and they're not used to being in such a big space. And so we have to spend a lot of time socializing them. And in that time, yeah, some of them may not get along, but as we get them socialized and as we get them adjusted to the space, they kind of find their own spots. So part of the job description is love, cuddle, and play with cats all day? Yeah. I'm in the wrong business. How did you raise money to open? I did a campaign on Kickstarter, and I thought it would be a really great way to see if people would actually come if there was a cat cafe. So we just kind of announced to DC that we wanted to open a cat cafe, and a lot of backers got behind us, and we raised 40K almost. And that plus my savings is what I used for the first, first door. How was it when you first opened? I feel like I blacked out. It was chaos. I was just like terrified. I have no idea how to do this. I have no idea where I'm going to get the money. I've never owned a company before. My parents think it's some stupid cat restaurant. Like they don't even get it. Like nobody gets it. And then on like our first day of opening, the line was like around the block and we were already fully booked. Like that's why I didn't expect a line. And we had all of this as a team of like me and four other part-time people. Do you remember how much money you made? The crazy thing is I wasn't looking at that because there was so much going on. When we looked back like a few weeks later, our first day of opening, we had done like 22,000 in sales. When I first started my company, I was very much like a lone wolf type of mentality. I was like, I'm doing everything myself. I trust myself and nobody else. And I'm going to do like the brand and I'm going to do the customer service. I learned very quickly that like entrepreneurship is about getting a team together, having a vision, like working on that goal. And so entrepreneurs who learn to be to let go and who learn to trust others and who learn how to build teams and get teams behind them are the ones who are able to scale successfully. I think I'm still in the process of learning that, but that's kind of where we're at. Hi, Bono. So your business is in LA on Melrose. Who's your customer base? 18 to like 40 year old, very heavily leading towards women. 
people who like want to spend their money not on like more things and more products, but like experiences, and also who not just care about animals, but just care about where their money's going. Do you have plans for expansion? Will we have more crumbs and whiskers? Yeah, so I'd love to see us in Boston and I'd love to see us in New York. So hopefully in the next couple years, that's where we're going. Oh, oh, girl, my date just got here. You're gonna be able to tell a lot about the human by the days of Cat Cafe. I think it's like a really good way to like gauge. How do they treat the waiter? It's mm -hmm. like, you get that times like 100 at the Cat Cafe. Hi, you brought flowers! I did! Thank you so much! I don't know, don't, you're fine, of These course. These really nice flowers! Yeah! Did you think I was gonna get you cheap flowers? I didn't think of flowers at all. Girl, it's a date. I know. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm amazing. How are you? Good. How are your cats? Uh, they're, uh, well, the cat is currently eating my cookie. Yes, no pun sure. intended. Is that a cat? <laughs> when Bono approves, you know you've got a good one. And if right. Bono doesn't approve, don't do it. Do you love all animals or just cats? Uh, I do. I like all animals. I currently don't know if I want to own a cat. Really? What's your trepidation? Uh, responsibility. Because you don't want to be responsible to anything or specifically like a living creature? Yeah, specifically living things. Do you have commitment stuff? Are you asking if I have commitment issues? No, 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 I, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> if the cats don't like him, don't trust him. Fun fact. Relationship status. Cats. cats. See, you think that's good? For me, it's like, not so good. I know, but it means we might be like semi-avoidant towards each other, but really cuddle up at times and then kind of like hiss at each other. But it is cats, so there's two of us. It's a lot from one cup. I like you. I'm gonna take you home. I think he likes you too. I know. I feel like I should adopt this cat. This is like forever home vibe right here. Like maybe for all of us. Mm, forever. Aw, I'm happy he found our love here. He deserves that Polaroid. I don't think you're bad luck at all, and honestly, I really resent that sentiment. I actually think you're good luck. Oh, I love your bow tie. Oh, I'm sorry, the Polaroids are actually just for people who adopt the cats. Okay, but like, this is the perfect selfie.